Hello everybody, this is my video about the western fence lizard. Um, I have two of them in here. That is a male adult western fence lizard, and that is a baby female western fence lizard. Now, the way to tell that it's a male, it'll have a blue belly. Meanwhile, the male doesn't like to be touched, but the female doesn't mind. Meanwhile, the female does not. You can maybe see, I don't know. Now, with these two guys, they generally like to bask up here on the stick or down there on that rock. Um, they practically bask all day. And for their substract down there, I just used sand because they live perfectly fine in it. They actually, when they sleep, bury themselves in the sand. And they'll usually do that underneath the leaves or these sticks over here. That's their water ball, which really needs to be cleaned. Um... That's a rock cave where they rarely ever go. It's a little area. Sometimes they sleep in there. Sometimes they don't. That right there is a heating rock, which is not necessary if you want to have them. It just helps them with digestion. So it's just something that I got. Um, they need a basking light, which is in their hot spot. And uh, basking light generally needs to be put on for about seven to eight hours a day for them to live happily. You need the cage to be in the higher level, up around the 80s. Right now my cage is only at like 78, I think. It has to heat up. I use the heating lamp for that. You could get a heating mat, which is actually quite good to have. I use the heating rock, actually, because it gets decent temperature. Heats it up quite nicely. And, um, they eat Mealworms and crickets. I feed mealworms actually here. There's a mealworm right there. <coughs> really cheap. You can get them at almost any pet store. You just take them, put them in the cage. I don't know if they'll eat right now. I just sort of fed them a couple of days ago. <coughs> That's what I feed the uh, adult. The baby, he's too small to eat the mealworms. So I generally either go buy him some baby crickets or fruit flies will do good which you can get and they basically will just breed on their own these fruit flies forever and ever they'll just sit there and constantly breed if you put them in a bigger container than what you buy them in you can have fruit flies for basically the rest of the lizard's time that will be necessary for him to have the fruit flies and not the mealworms like I said mealworms are generally cheap very good food they seem to like it uh, crickets are more so hard to keep because they die really quick and usually only wind up feeding half the crickets that you actually buy to them. So it's not that good, but he eats baby crickets or mealworms. So does he, but he's not big enough to eat the full-grown cricket. He can. He has done it before, but he just doesn't seem to go for it. He goes for the mealworms better, and these are just regular mealworms. Don't get the super mealworms for the... Western fences are they're too big. It's a fifty count. And yeah, that's it.